Figure 1-30, indirect communication between hosts. In this animation, the request for http colon slash slash www.prenhall.com is followed through the steps required to create a message in the client host browser, propagate the message across the media, switch the message within the LAN, and route the message between two networks over the internet. Figure 1-36 and 1-37 go hand in hand, where figure 1-36 covers indirect communication and figure 1-37 covers the encapsulation in detail, which occurs on the client hosts. That's both the client host A and the host www.prenhall.com. But back to our example of indirect communication. First, we present LAN A. Local area network A has a client host, a number of switches, and an edge router. Those devices are connected together by some type of media. Does not matter what that media is at this point. However, you must know that these devices are connected together wirelessly or via some type of wired media. We have LAN B, which looks similar to LAN A, in that there's an edge router, one or more core switches or other types of switches, and a server at www.prenhall.com. These devices are also interconnected by some type of media. The two networks, LAN A and LAN B, are interconnected via carrier circuits and the internet. Again, the technical details of those connections don't matter because we're discussing indirect communication within this animation. So back to indirect communication again. Client host A decides it wants to contact a particular web server. The client host within its browser creates a message, http colon slash slash www.prenhall.com and encapsulates that message. The message is then sent through the various layers of encapsulated communication on client host A it is propagated across the media at layer one, and in this example goes through a workgroup switch, a number of core switches, and gets out to the edge router. The switches are responsible for recreating the frame and sending the frame out a specific port by analyzing the MAC address. They are also responsible for propagating the frame or pushing the frame along, if you will. Once the frame reaches the edge router. That PDU, and remember there are multiple types of PDUs, there are frames, there are packets, there are segments. Um, again, the type doesn't matter for this discussion right now. The router sends the PDU out of the network by recreating the frame. It had to decapsulate up to layer three recapsulate and send the frame out over the internet with the address of the server, or more correctly, with the address of the LAN for that server. When that LAN receives the frame, it then sends it through its network by propagating it over its media. It then decapsulates that message and gets it all the way back up to layer one within the server on its local network. So we have indirect communication between client host A and www.prenhall.com in that the two hosts are not directly connected. They're communicating indirectly through layered or encapsulated communication. There have been a number of switches in between, some routers, and the internet, which actually enables 
the indirect communication. 